Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. And in this video, we are going to start talking about uh, operators. We have been talking a little bit about operators, but let's just uh, starting in a new class here. Let's call operators test. So here we are going to see a little bit more of map, flat map, publish on, subscribe on. And talking about subscribe on and publish on, let's talk about these guys first because they are quite interesting, especially if you are mixing uh, asynchronous with synchronous calls. So let's start with uh, subscribe on, subscribe on, and let's start uh, pretty simple. Okay, so project reactor is uh, concurrency agnostic. It means that uh, unless you apply concurrency, it will just run in the main thread, as you have been seeing through the last uh, videos. Now, imagine that we would like to, when we are subscribing, we would like to subscribe in another thread we would not like to block the main thread so this is uh, especially useful when you are doing io or requesting some something from an external api and you have no control over let's uh, start pretty simple with a flux and we are going to create a range from one to four and here uh, we will use map again and through map i will just bring this guy So I will use here log.info, seller for j and then uh, I will just print here. I will create two maps because uh, there is something you need to understand about subscribe home and publish home. So I will tell this one is map one. I will create two of them, and then the number that we are going to print here, and then on thread, and I will give the name of this thread, and I will pass here. I and then thread current thread get name. Okay, so nothing uh, really special. You already know how this works. We have been doing this several times so far. And uh, now what we are going to apply here is this subscribe on. And you can see that asking for a scheduler. So you can apply a scheduler here in two ways first you can create your own scheduler or second you can use one of the schedulers available on project reactor so just go to project project reactor.io docs core all this uh, link and you go to 4.5 section trading and schedulers and you'll see that we have several schedulers that we can use out of the box so for a single one that we can reuse the thread. Let's use a uh, single, but uh, we can use between something between single and bounded uh, elastic that will create threads with a cap of uh, CPU cores times 10. Okay, so let's start simple with schedulers dot single, only one thread. And uh, remember, when we do subscribe on, we are not actually subscribing. So this will not trigger this publisher. And I will copy this entire map because now this is map two. So basically we are going to print one to four two times. And then I will leave it here and I will create the test here, step verifier, or you could just uh, subscribe to it. So I forgot to create flux here. And then expect subscription and then expect next one two three four and then verify complete okay let's execute this so as you can see here when we apply subscribe on it affects everything that the publisher is going to publish so even though i'm subscribing on uh, in the middle of these two maps and remember every time you do this you are kind of a returning kind of not uh, you are returning an uh, immutable object so you can see that we are applying this for both of maps so we have here single thread number one one two two three three four four so this is going to be the same if we for, for example use a uh, bounded elastic Let's just execute again. 
and you can see that's just one thread or you, if you use elastic that they are not recommending anymore because there are no threads cap you will see that's exactly uh, the same so just remember that the subscribe on it will affect the entire flux publisher so why i'm telling you about this because the publish on actually it's uh, behaves differently so i will copy this entire method and i will call here publish on simple and instead of subscribe on i'm going to use publish on and i will keep the bounded elastic now let's execute and you can see that the first map one two three and uh, four this is map one they were executed in the main thread but starting with the second map it was executed in a second thread so if we create another one for example flux.subscribe let's create a two let's remove this one you will see more than one thread so we have one and then we have two so as many times as uh, we are subscribing the threads will be created until we breach the, the cap so what it's important to understand here first the subscribe ohm it is applied to the subscription process so if you place a subscribe on in a chain it will affect the source emission in the entire chain however the publish on does not affect the the entire chain as you can see the publish on will only affect what we have after the the, the that part in the chain so it will affect only the subsequent operators that we have after the publish on so this behavior is a uh, pretty important so if you want you can also move this guy up here in the chain and let's see the result now you can see both maps being executed outside the main thread so this is it for this video just remember the behavior between the publish on and then the subscribe on i will move this uh, publish on back to the middle of the chain and uh, let's continue in the next video. See you there.